I then count them here with complete marketing systems. A big part of what we do in our business is event planning and marketing. One of the biggest questions that people ask me is, Diane, how do I know if my list is the right list to host an event? It's a great question on one hand, and on the other hand, think about it. It's your list. Your list, if you have a good relationship with them, they already know, like, and trust you. You already have a relationship with them. The number one consideration when you think about hosting an event, whether it's your first event or whether you've already done a lot of events with your list, is the relationship that you have with your list. It's critical. Do they know, like, and trust you? Are they purchasing from you? How often are they hearing from you? I have a mentor who I hear from almost, not quite, but over the course of a year, it ends up being like 280 times. So it's almost every day. Different touches in different media. So if your list is used to hearing from you, they know, like, and trust you, they're buying from you, that's the first step in you being able to fill an event. Now, while we're on the subject, let's talk realistically here, though. I got a call not too long ago from somebody who had 1,000 people on their list and thought they could put 500 of them into a room. Now, those numbers would be really, really good, but it's probably, for most of us, it's not going to happen. You're not going to get 50% of your people to come to a live event. If you get a few percent, one, two, three, five percent, ten percent would be great. So look at your numbers and, and be realistic. Typically we tell people once they have a few thousand people on their list, they ought to seriously think about doing an event because you can very easily now fill an event, again, depending upon the relationship that you have with your list. Just a side note, your list is your house list. People who have opted in and who get information from you, it doesn't count the people that you have on your social media platforms. Okay? You want to be moving those people from your social media platforms over to your main list, but that's a topic for another day. So if you have a great list and you've been communicating with them, I would highly encourage you to think about very seriously putting on some sort of live event. If you'd like more information on putting live events on successfully, go to www.event planningandmarketing.com and there's some great tips there for you. I'm Diane Conklin with Complete Marketing Systems and we'll see you again soon.